close your eyes and watch your breath. And you can watch your breath when, more easily when your eyes are closed because you're less distracted. And it's good to get practice giving your full attention to the breath. But you also want to be able to be with your breath as you go through the day. So when you open your eyes at the end of the meditation, be very conscious to remind yourself to stay with the sensation of the breathing. Notice where the breath comes in or it comes out, where you feel it coming in. It may not have the feeling in the place where you think it should be, but notice where it actually is. You find that different parts of the body are involved in the breathing process. So pay attention to those sensations. You want to have grounding as you go through the day. Otherwise, your thoughts are floating away. The body is left abandoned. And the thoughts don't have a really good place to settle down. So both the body and the mind lack strength. They gain their strength when they come together. When you're with the body, the body has the wine, <coughs> excuse me, has the mind watching over it, and the, the body provides a grounding for the mind. In this way, they strengthen one another. And as you go through the day, you need that strength because all kinds of things are going to be coming at you from outside and inside. So this grounding helps you from being blown away. There are the winds of change outside. There's gain and there's loss. There's status, loss of status. There's praise and criticism. There's pleasure and there's pain. These things come blowing in from different directions. And when they come with full force, it's like a tornado. They start spinning around and carrying you away. So you need something to ground you something to hold you down. So being with the breath, and no matter what comes in, you're going to stay with the sensation of the body and the movement of the energy in the body. But as you're going through the day, it may be not possible to be consciously aware of in, each in and out breath, but you can be aware of the quality of the breath energy in your body. And you begin to come, become sensitive to where the sensitive spots are, the ones that are most likely to react to events outside, and you want to keep guard over those. If you can guard those, then the rest of the body gets protected. So you may find that they're near the heart or they're in the stomach, someplace in the middle of the head, wherever your sensitive spots are. Watch over those. Keep them protected. And as the Buddha said, when you're protecting yourself this way, you're protecting others too. In other words, you're less likely to get fly off the handle when something happens. And that way other people don't have to be subjected to your greed or aversion or delusion or whatever. So looking after yourself is a way of looking after others. At the same time, when you're looking after others, when you're kind to them, okay, you're looking after yourself. So keep this in mind that both sides benefit when you've got the trail, when you've got the mind well trained. And that way your life gets straightened out and you have you have a good influence on other people too. <laughs>